Good morning, today is August 6th, which means it is the first day of lobster season, which means that the whole family's on the boat and we're getting ready to jump in the water and catch us some lobsters. Stay tuned. Hey. So should I anchor? Well, it's your call if you want to get in. Dad and I are going to catch them, so. First lobster, and you got what, three more down there? Mm -hmm. there I see. It looks like it, yeah. What's going on up here, Mom? He is a bad boy. Coming this way. So you want to go pretty far forward, we're going to be down. You boys are going to catch them all before I get a chance to get in. That's right. So that is number three. I just anchored the boat, now we're jumping in. Let's see that bad boy. That's the biggest one I've seen in a while and that was a really good shot. Nice job. Within the last few years, they've increased the size limit of hogfish and they've also added an actual season for hogfish. And this is the biggest hogfish I've seen in years, honestly. We see them all the time that are probably just legal to shoot, but we let them go. And I spied this one and I was like, Fisher, watch this fish, keep an eye on it. I'm gonna go to the boat and get the spear. But the boat was kind of far away from the group of people, so I pulled the anchor by myself, brought the boat over there, handed Fisher the spear, and he speared it. It's a really nice hogfish. Check it out. You guys will see my videos that I film hogfish a lot and just let them swim by, but this one was a nice one, so we decided to spear it. Check out those teeth. Look how flat and glassy it is. Absolutely perfect conditions today. Glassy, calm, and crystal clear. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it is crystal clear. You can see the rocks right from the surface. So believe it or not, this kid who is much taller than me is actually my younger brother, Fisher, and he actually has a YouTube channel too. He does a lot of dive videos, so if you guys love these dive videos, make sure you check him out, Fisher Chris on YouTube. You can also find his link in the description. If you guys watch my videos and you see the kid who holds his breath forever, that's this guy. He is so good at free diving. It's absolutely insane. Make sure you guys check him out. I think we picked up five more on that second spot. Then I hopped in the boat, pulled the anchor, and now we're just drifting to our That's third going, spot. How's it going, and how's it going? It sounds like they just got one, but I think there's two more at this spot. Going up. <laughs> you got it, Jed? Well, yeah. Mommy, you want me to take the bag? Yeah. Thank you. I 
I'll count them and let you know for sure how many we have. How many do we have, boss? Jed's got a big one. You got it? Jed's got a big one. Show it to the camera, Jed. Alright. Nice. Big one. You got a buddy. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there was one in there. there one His head are so big. Oh. Uh, Come on, You know, just towing a bunch of shark bait behind the boat. <laughs> There's three or four. Oh, she's gonna go on this rock too back here. Should I anchor? You can anchor. Yeah, anchor. anchor up. You want me to? Yeah. I would. Okay. baby yellow jack. We call them buddy fish because often while diving they will find you and follow you for as long as you stay in the water. This little guy kept switching from person to person but followed us around for hours. Yellow jacks are often seen following around big predators such as sharks and stingrays. Their hope is to eat the leftover scraps from the predators meals. So we are back home. We just finished washing the boat and all the dive gear. Now it's time to clean our catch. We ended up getting 17 lobsters. Fisher shot that one nice hogfish and then Victor also shot a big lionfish. And tonight we're gonna be cooking up the hogfish, the lobsters, and that lionfish. And I'm gonna do a new lobster recipe for you guys. So let me show you how I'm gonna clean them up. Tonight I'm gonna cook six of them and I want six big ones. This looks like a nice one. 
So the way that we're cooking these is we're gonna cut them down in half and keep them whole and grill them. Now it takes kind of a little strength to do it so my dad's gonna cut them for me. Right down the middle. So we're breaking off the antennas and then we're cutting them straight down the center and we're gonna take the hose and squirt out all these guts. But this way, when you eat them like this, there's a bunch of head meat in here. You get the head meat. You can also eat the legs. You can eat the knuckles here. And that's all delicious meat in here. So we have the six lobsters cut open and then I cleaned out all the guts inside and now they're ready for the grill. You can see when you do it this way, you get a lot more meat in the head versus just eating the tail meat. So now we're ready for the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So this is what we got going on. I got my lobsters on a tray. I'm planning on cooking them first face down like meat towards the grill. Cooking them like that for just a few minutes and then flipping them over. And then I'm going to add a butter garlic mixture through it so that it melts into it. I'm not gonna bother putting it on before I cook it face down because I don't want it to just pour out of the fish. But I'm gonna do a little seasoning now so that it'll have the seasonings on it when it's face down. So let's get to that. The first thing I'm also going to do is add a little bit of oil because they are gonna cook face down and I don't want my meat getting stuck to the grill. And I got this little basting brush. And I'm just gonna baste some oil into these lobsters onto the meat. I don't care about the shell or anything else. The shell is definitely not gonna get stuck. And then it also gives my seasoning something to kind of hold on to. Now for my seasonings, I'm going super simple. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some paprika. So here we go. Pepper. Get it all up in there. Now salt. Garlic powder. And last but not least, some paprika. Now on this little skillet, I have some oil and some pressed fresh garlic heating up, and I'm going to add this stick of butter. Now, yes, a stick of butter is a lot, but I got a lot of lobsters going on the grill. And a lot of the butter will also fall out of the lobsters, so we're not gonna end up having a whole stick of butter. Some of it's gonna end up falling into the grill. All right guys, it's time to put them on the grill. And like I said, they're going face down first. Now you're gonna see these things start to turn red real quick with this heat. Okay, so they've been face down for two minutes. And I'm gonna flip them over now. Ooh la la, do they look good already? So now I'm also sharing the grill with my brother Fisher who's doing a hogfish catch and cook on the half shell, which if you guys have watched my videos before, you know how much I love cooking fish on the half shell. And we've never made hogfish on the half shell before, but I am super stoked for this, almost more than these lobsters. That's how much I love hogfish and cooking on the half shell. If you guys wanna see that video, well, <laughs> if you guys wanna see that video, it will be linked down below, definitely check it out. So now I have my butter garlic, and I got my baster here. We're just gonna baste it into the tail. Look at this head meat, look at that. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be delicious. Dad, look, yours has a butter boat going on. Butter boat? Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh -huh. For some reason, I only 
So me and my mom are splitting a head and I just ate out the head meat and it was so delicious. And now I'm gonna take out the tail of meat and it is so perfect and tender and just peels right out of the tail. Well, we all just finished and I thought this was absolutely delicious and Fisher's Hogfish was really good too. Again, you guys, check out his video, link down in the description. What'd you guys all think? Excellent. Two thumbs up. Sure? I thought it was really good. First time eating the whole lobster. I was expecting there to be more head meat, but it was so good cooked this way. I definitely recommend. Okay. This is a five star meal. Um, just the, the charred, you know, grill. It's, it's a little different than just the tail cooked to perfection as always. All right, I'll tell you guys something. We've eaten so much lobster and fish in this house and I've noticed something. When you cook fish on the half shell and when you cook lobster in the shell, it comes out so tender. Fisher's hogfish, A+, plus. Brooks lobster, A+. Plus. It's just like, I don't know if it's the, the shell just doesn't let any of the butter or juices run out, but it's really good. So if you guys have never tried it, it's like nature's little dinner plate serving platter. You gotta try it. And then secondly, this is something that Brian would always say, but we are extremely lucky to be able to do what we do and have fresh fish for dinner all the time. So. On behalf of Brooke, I want to thank you guys for watching her channel because this is incredible to be able to do this and to post videos and for Brooke to be able to post videos. And she's about to hit 100,000 subscribers, so congrats to you, babe. Thank you. I don't know why. Today was opening day of lobster season, but there were hardly any boats out there. The weather was predicting a lot of lightning storms. That could have been, you know, one of the reasons. The other is it, it's a Tuesday and I guess not everybody can take off. But the ocean was flat as a lake and crystal clear and 83 degrees. We just had a spectacular day with my family and now a spectacular meal with my family. I feel great. Like Victor said, I'm about to hit 100,000 subscribers and by the time you guys watch this video, I probably already hit it. So thank you guys so much for all the comments, all the love, I appreciate it so, so much. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.